Hi everyone, it's Lolo, I'm back, and we are on episode two of Healthy Meals with Lolo. Today I'm gonna to be making my favorite banana muffins. I've been literally hooked on these. I've been meal prepping them for the past few months and they are to die for. Super easy to make also, and super healthy. So, it's really easy. You wanna make sure your bananas are ripe so it's the like sweetest and easiest to mash them. And luckily, mine are ready to go. So, super easy, you just wanna peel. Ooh, look, they're already so soft, they're falling apart on me. <laughs> um, so you're gonna throw in all of your bananas, not the peel. These are ready to go. I think I've gotten everybody in my life hooked on these the past few weeks because they taste so good and they're literally the best to have in the morning. So throw your bananas in a bowl and then you're gonna mash them up. So super easy, just take a fork and mash them up. And make sure you get it to be super creamy because you don't want too many chunks of bananas, so. Okay. So, we have all of the bananas mashed up and ready. Actually, let's make sure everything is all the way mushed. Cool, so if you guys can see, the consistency is very creamy. Next, all you're gonna need is a one cup measuring cup thing. <laughs> and oats. So I typically do majority of quick cooked oats, the quick cooking ones, so they're the smaller ones, with a little bit of the old fashioned oats, which are gonna be the longer cooking ones, basically. So I throw in one cup of the gluten-free old fashioned oats. Just one cup like that, throw it in, and then you're done. Next, you're gonna need the quick one minute oats. We're gonna do three cups. One, two, three. And I'm gonna add a little bit more. Maybe we'll do like three and a half cups today. So, just because I feel like we do have a lot of banana. So, then all you're gonna do is mix it all together. And the banana itself is gonna basically moisten up all of the oats. It really helps to basically like take the fork and mash it in just until it gets a little wet because otherwise you're gonna have dry oats kind of flying all over the place, which you don't want. But it ends up meshing together pretty quickly. See, we're already there. These have literally been the best pre-workout snack in the morning and even midnight snack when you're craving something sweet because I myself have a crazy sweet tooth and this is a great alternative for satisfying your sweet tooth. Okay, so once all the oats are compacted and kind of like moistened by the banana, then I personally like to add protein to mine just so I have a little bit more balance. So I do a scoop of the Vegas Sport Vanilla, which is my favorite, like I used in my last video. You just put some protein in a bowl, and then you're gonna add some water to it. And then you're going to mix that all up. And it should become like a very creamy consistency. Um, it can be a little watery because it is gonna go into the whole mixture, so it's okay. It can be used in there to kind of make it a little bit more moist. So just whip that up. I'm gonna add a little more water to it. So we have all the protein together and you're gonna pour it into your bowl of oats. Just like that. I love licking the bowl because it tastes so good. So, mm. okay, so now we are going to mix 
the protein into the oats and it's gonna become a super thick consistency, almost like a cookie dough. That was super easy to mix in. Now we're gonna add cinnamon. I like a lot of cinnamon. So throw that in. And monk fruit sweetener. This is literally my life hack. I eat this with everything. It makes everything taste good. Like I told you guys, I have a crazy sweet tooth, so I am not shy when it comes to monk fruit. You're gonna sprinkle a whole bunch of it in because we like it sweet. <laughs> then you're gonna mix that all together. Okay, so we have our whole entire mix put together. Now we just need to add. I've been adding cocoa nibs because I do want a no sugar option. So I sprinkle in some cocoa nibs. But I also do love chocolate chips, so I'm still gonna add some. And I have been loving these Who No Added Chocolate Chips. They're so good. They taste so good. So I'm gonna sprinkle some in. Not too many, probably like about a fourth cup. Just mix those in to your oats, banana, and protein. Next, we're gonna grab a baking pan with some foil, and I usually spray avocado oil on it, so which I already did before I started this video. So we have our pan. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a spoon, big spoon. We're gonna make little balls and just place them into the pan. And I end up making a lot of muffins out of a batch this size. I think I get like 12 to 16 made. So I'm gonna make like decent sized ones just because they are so tasty. It doesn't necessarily matter the size of the muffin that you create, but I make them more like cookies because I feel like they cook better in a cookie pan versus a muffin pan. I used to make them in muffin pans all the time, but I just think they cook better like this, personally. I like them softer. So, this has been my way of doing it. I have like extra chocolate chips, that's so exciting. <laughs> okay, so we have our first batch ready to go in the oven. And all you gotta do is put the oven on 350 degrees. Then once the oven is ready to go, you're gonna pop them in for 10 minutes, maybe 11 minutes. But really all it needs is 10 minutes. Then we're gonna take them out. So let's go put them in the oven. It is already ready to go, so we are just going to stick them in. That. And then timer is gonna be set to 10 minutes. And now, we wait. <laughs> I'm out of the oven. They look so good. Oh my god. Look at these. I wish you guys could try them. Wait, hold on. I grabbed. I actually put another one in the oven when you guys weren't, you know, watching. <laughs> but we have tons of muffins ready to go. And that is how we make banana protein muffins. These are my favorite to keep in the fridge throughout the week when I'm having a little sweet tooth in the middle of the night, when I wake up in the morning with my coffee before I go work out. They're fucking phenomenal. So we're gonna wait for them to cool, put them in a container, but I hope you guys enjoyed episode number two and I'll see you next time, bye. Today we are going to be making my new obsession. They are vegetable summer spring rolls. Now we are going to wrap it like a baby. Oh, we did it. Okay, so it looks something like this. Alrighty. Now we eat them all. <laughs>